The uh, langmuir hinshelwood kinetic expressions are uh, commonly uh, used to describe uh, the reaction rates for heterogeneously catalyzed reactions. This expression is uh, named after Irving Langmuir, Nobel Prize Chemistry 1932, and Cyril Norman Hinshelwood, Nobel Prize Chemistry 1956. To take just one example, for zeolite catalyzed uh, isomerization of 2-methylpentane to produce 2,2-dimethyl uh, butane, the reaction rate expression is uh, written in this form where we have uh, the numerator that contains uh, the forward reaction rate constant times a partial fugacity of component 1, 2-methylpentane, in the uh, bulk fluid phase minus a, a reverse reaction rate constant, K reverse, times the partial fugacity for component 2, 2, two dimethyl butane in the bulk fluid phase. And uh, the denominator is a term that contains 1 plus B1F1 plus B2F2, where B1 and B2 are uh, absorption constants describing the binding strengths of components 1 and 2. My objective today is to uh, go through the uh, derivation of the langmuir Inshelwood kinetic expression. For further background on uh, the theory behind this uh, derivation, I refer you to my publication and uh, also um, view my presentation on the ideal absorbed solution theory on my YouTube channel. We start our uh, derivation of the langmuir hinshelwood kinetic expression by considering uh, absorption of a single component and a binary mixture in uh, porous adsorbents. And thereafter, we uh, consider reaction rates and the derivation of the langmuir hinshelwood kinetics. We start our discussions by uh, considering um, the adsorption of a single component in a porous adsorbent. The porous adsorbent is considered to be made up of M adsorption sites and uh, we may write the rate of adsorption to be proportional to the number of vacant sites within the uh, material. Since uh, there are a total number of M sites, the total number of vacant positions that uh, are available for adsorption is equal to M times theta V, where theta V is the fractional vacancy. F is the uh, fugacity of that component in the bulk fluid phase surrounding the adsorbent. And uh, K adsorb ADS, K adds, is the uh, reaction rate constant for the adsorption process. The uh, fractional vacancy may be written as 1 minus theta, where theta is the fractional occupancy. And uh, so there are the um, occupied sites are indicated by these uh, red circles here. The vacant sites are available for adsorption. The 
the rate of desorption is proportional to the number of occupied sites, which is m, the total number of sites, times theta, the fractional occupancy. And uh, K D E S is the reaction rate constant for the desorption process. At equilibrium, we may equate the rate of adsorption to the rate of desorption and derive an expression shown here. K adds times F, the partial fugacity in the bulk fluid phase, divided by K desorption. And the ratio of the adsorption rate constant to the desorption rate constant can be termed as a binding constant B. So B times F is theta divided by 1 minus theta. This expression may be rewritten to explicitly relate the fractional occupancy to the partial fugacity in the bulk fluid phase. And this expression is shown here, where the partial occupancy or fractional occupancy is the molar loading Q divided by Q sat the saturation capacity. And uh, we have the familiar expression for the Langmuir isotherm. We can generalize this for a binary mixture in the uh, following slide. For a binary mixture of components one and two, component one shown in, in red, Component 2, shown in blue, on a uh, heterogeneous adsorbent containing a total of M adsorption sites. The uh, rate of adsorption for component 1 can be written in the following form, in which uh, the uh, rate of adsorption is proportional to the partial fugacity of component 1 in the bulk fluid phase times the number of vacant sites. And the number of vacant sites is M, the total number of sites, times the fractional vacancy. And the fractional vacancy is 1 minus the occupancy of component 1 minus the occupancy of component 2. The rate of adsorption is balanced by the rate of desorption of component 1 and the rate of desorption of component 1 is proportional to the occupancy of component 1 shown by the red circles in this uh, schematic here. So uh, by equating the rate of adsorption to the rate of desorption, we uh, derive an expression B1F1 equals theta1 divided by 1 minus theta1 minus theta2. And uh, precisely analogously, we can write the expression for the uh, for the uh, rates of absorption of uh, component two and desorption of component two, and we derive B two F two equals theta two, which is the fractional occupancy of component two divided by 1 minus theta 1 plus theta 2. If we add this term to this term, we uh, will derive this following expression. 1 plus B1F1 plus B2F2 is 1 divided by 1 minus theta 1 minus 1 um, theta 2. And this is the fractional vacancy. And uh, therefore, the fractional occupancy of component 1 is B1F1 divided by this term here. 
and the fraction occupancy of component 2 is uh, B2 F2 divided by this term 1 plus B1 F1 plus B2 F2. We have now the uh, expression to describe uh, the fractional occupancies theta 1 and theta 2 of components 1 and 2. And on this basis, we can determine the uh, molar loadings of components 1 and 2, which are Q1 and Q2. For further details, see my presentation on IAST on my YouTube channel. Having this uh, background, let's consider the uh, derivation of the langmuir hinshelwood kinetic expressions. Let us set up the uh, kinetic expressions for alkane isomerization using uh, MFI catalyst. We consider the isomerization of 2-methylpentane to 2,2-dimethylbutane. Both components uh, are um, preferentially adsorbed at the intersections between um, straight and zigzag channels per unit cell of um, MFI uh, zeolite. There are four intersection sites and uh, the uh, unary isotherms for 2-methylpentane shown in blue and 2,2-dimethylbutane shown in yellow this is uh, represented here. These show a saturation capacity of four molecules per unit cell. So the, satu the uh, saturation capacities of both components are equal to uh, each other. The uh, molar loadings of components one and two in the adsorbed phase are described by the uh, expression derived in the uh, foregoing slide for binary mixture adsorption. So Q1 is equal to the saturation capacity for component 1 corresponding to say 4 molecules per unit cell times the uh, adsorption constant or binding strength for component 1, B1, times the partial fugacity of component 1 in the uh, bulk fluid phase. And we have the uh, denominator, which is 1 plus B1F1 plus B2F2. Similarly, Q2 can be written as being proportional to B2, the binding strength for component 2, times F2, the partial fugacity of component 2 in the bulk fluid phase. The uh, reaction rate is written as K1, a forward reaction rate constant, say, times the molar loading of component 1 minus K2 times Q2, which is the uh, molar loading of component 1 in the adsorbed phase. This reaction rate has the expression as the units of moles per second per kilogram of MFI catalyst. By uh, substituting the expressions for Q1 and Q2, in here we derive this expression from which uh, we have uh, K forward times F1 minus K reverse term F2 divided by this uh, denominator term, which contains the, uh, the binding strengths of component 1 and component 2. This derivation makes it clear that uh, the langmuir hinshelwood kinetic expressions that are commonly used is uh, applicable, say in this case for binary mixture adsorption, where the components 1 and 2 have equal saturation capacities and the uh, the expression derived in the previous slide for binary mixture adsorption is valid. This, is, this expression is not always 
correct for mixture absorption when the saturation capacities of the uh, species in the mixture are different. The acylation of benzene to produce ethyl benzene is an industrially important reaction that is catalyzed by MFI zeolite. The uh, dehydrogenation of ethyl benzene results in the production of styrene that uh, is a feedstock for producing polystyrene. The uh, reaction rate expression is uh, written in this uh, manner in which the forward reaction rate is proportional to the product of the uh, adsorbed phase loadings of components 1 and 2 and the reverse reaction rate is proportional to the uh, molar loading of ethyl benzene within the uh, catalyst. So um, how do we set up the uh, proper expressions for Q1, Q2 and Q3? <clears throat> One way to do this is to write a generalization of the uh, multi-component Langmuir model for mixture adsorption in which the molar loadings are written as being proportional to the saturation capacity of that component times an adsorption rate constant B sub I times the partial fugacity in the bulk fluid phase divided by this term which is 1 plus B1F1 plus B2F2 plus B3F3 where B1, B2 and B3 are the uh, Langmuir constants that are derived from uh, the unary isotherms. However, this expression for mixture adsorption is thermodynamically inconsistent and uh, a more general approach and correct approach is to use the ideal adsorbed solution theory to calculate the molar loadings of components 1, 2 and 3. The uh, details are provided in my publication cited here. See also my presentation on uh, IAST on my YouTube channel. The uh, message I wish to put across in this presentation is that the langmuir henschelwood kinetics that is commonly used in uh, practice relies on an expression for the component loadings that are not precisely correct thermodynamically speaking and in practice it is preferable to uh, set up the expressions in which the uh, reaction rate is uh, written in this form and the component loadings Q1 and Q2 and Q3 are determined using the IAST.